Bam Bam's Saharan Spy uh, with Dead Ringer. Um, I was asked to do a round on defense, and I decided to do it on Sahar with the Saharan Spy, also referred to as the Silly Set, as this video will show you. Basically, what happens is you um, the Saharan Spy that Saharan Spy uh, reduces the decloak sound, but increases your decloaking by half a second. So um, what happens is with the normal with the dead ringer, the normal sound effect is uh, really really loud. But um, with Saharan Spy, it's so um, quiet you can decloak pretty much behind someone. And uh, towards the end, I'll probably show it a couple of times in the video. Uh, decloaking literally right behind someone and they don't even notice it. Um, so it's a bit slower to begin with. Uh, it's all about getting your first stab off, as it were. So once you, because the disadvantage with the Saharan Spy, you don't get a disguise kit to begin with. But, um, as usual with the Dead Ringer, you get if you get put on fire by a pyro, you get chased around like mad. So um, it's all about first disguise. Avoiding being killed or making it too obvious seem you're gonna die. Uh, here I just killed a medic, he wasn't paying attention, so I got my first disguise. Um, come up to a sniper, try and backstab. I know he's got a razor back on, but because some snipers don't always hear, it's worth a try to see if we can get another stab on him. But it obviously didn't work. Uh, demo, sniper just killed me. Well, attended. So he got my second disguise. We go again. Try take two, as it were. Uh, to set, set, sorry, I'm coming up here. See it engineered. Uh, with the new update, you can't. Um, the gun won't turn automatically now when you stab someone, so that's a good benefit. Uh, problem here is though that um, one of the MGs has instant respawn, so he's instantly coming back. Problem is. When I thought I stabbed him, I didn't. I pressed uh, the cloak button, so it didn't work. Uh, I didn't go for the front cart because the pyro was there, and he was just doing spy checking, so it wasn't worth it. So yeah, um, UK man down. Deirdre asked me to do um, a defensive round, and uh, Fried Tuck was doing um, a. Uh, been picking up on how to play the spy, so I decided, well, let's tr tr try the Saharan spy because he wanted to know how to he could use the ringer. So um, here comes the 15 stabs in one line. Uh, the pyro, though, was very kind and let me have the kit on the medic, <laughs> which I was a bit. Part of me was like, mm, great, so now I haven't got a disguise, but the other part was like, yeah, nice pyro, he's generous. So yeah, as you haven't got disguise, the sentry guns are going to get you. Uh, the one disadvantage with the Saharan Spy is, because you haven't got a disguise kit, you can't get behind an engineer, sap and kill him, so um, I don't know why I put in the, the destruction menu kind of thing, I only destroy one sentry gun and that's when I get a kill on an engine. But, uh, uh, it's not really that effective. Here comes clearing the cart. Easy, quite an effective way of getting points. Uh, kind of lucky there in a sense. Uh, Sidestab on Pyro. Uh, it's one benefit, people don't suspect you spies to disguise as classes such as heavies or soldiers because they're slower classes. So if you get a stab on them, it's an easy disguise and people are less likely to fall for believe you're a spy so you can get um, an extra stab on them. Jump out, pretend to an engineer. Chemo. Oh, I'm sorry, chemo. <laughs> oh, the... should have waited for the medic, gone back with him. No, didn't bother. Should have drawn through more. Uh, yeah, I apologise, chemo. By the way, um, chemo was having a go at me vi via Steam halfway through this because I just kept killing him, and he was just like, "You got, you got, you going singling me out or something?" I'm like, no, I didn't really mean to. It was just I didn't seem to die. Uh, medic, not paying attention again. Easy backstab. But the other spy knows I'm there, so it's best to let him shoot me a few times so he doesn't get a headshot. Use the dead ringer to escape. Uh, this is really lucky here. Uh, screwed up a backstab on the pyro. Uh, chemo's on the roof there. Spam's coming my way. Run across some metal, which was lucky because if I hadn't run across that, I would have probably died getting back. 
Uh, Fry is trying to get a stab on Sinister, but the back stab doesn't work. Um, yeah, so you now I'm just waiting for something to pop along and sort of forget a stab. And it's all about being patient as a spy. In the Zara and Spy say, if you don't get, if you don't, not patient, you're not going to get a stab. So stab the heavy. The medic was healing me there, as you saw, so he didn't realise I was um, a spy. Well, he probably did, didn't catch on quickly enough. Clear the cart one more time. Rack up the kills to 14. 14 backstabs and 15 kills. Heavy shooting at me. I don't know if he knows I'm a spy or not, but something else shoot him on the roof, so. Best cloak it. Yet again, waiting. Demo's seen me. Grab some metal from the cart. Stab. The cloak and run off. And get ready to repeat. Uh, one thing I didn't do this time was um, really unsensible. I, looking at the bottom right, you can see my cloak's not that full. There's a gun there. I haven't got a cloak, so I can't escape um, death once more. So that's my se that was my second death of the entire game. That route up to that point. So I was reasonably pleased with that. Uh, the point of the dead ringer in this with this kit is because, as you've just seen, that medic didn't hear me. He and all, neither did the soldier. He would have heard me and turned around and shot me. So this is why it's called the silly set because it's so quiet you can't actually hear people decloak behind you if they've got it which is um, quite neat uh, the only problem on this server is um, due to the floating body particles effect the Saharan spy uh, knife, your eternal reward knife when it kills someone even though it leaves it no corpse the, bo the, bo the body still floats up into particles so you can't exactly get away with leaving no trace because people will still see it uh, here I should have kept my disguise really, sentry gun, but can't win them all. Um, spy is disguised as pyro, so stab him, it's chemo. Sorry chemo! Uh, so now I've got a disguise, try and take on the engineer, he's on fire, but I'm not going to win. Uh, no one help, I should have just run through, because now the pyro and demo just get me in. Stand chance. Um, with the dead ringer, basically what happens is you have to time it effectively so that you don't make it too obvious that you're using the dead ringer, or you um, effectively waste it. So um, what you've got to do is plan. Uh, on the R servers, I have to time it so that it coincides with running into either a demo or a soldier so then you get gibbed so your corpse seems to disappear completely and it leaves no trace but um, if you if it doesn't otherwise people realise that you're a dead ring spy and you're in a lot of trouble fairly quickly So here I get a gibbed again. He thinks I'm dead. Go stab him. Sinister. Yeah, if it's any consolation to you, look, I still make s stupid mistakes, and here's this pyro. Just, I should have shot him instead of um, trying to knife him in the back because that backstab wasn't going to work anyway. It was too far to the right. So quickly cloak. Here comes a perfect example. The silly set, decloaking right behind the demo, <laughs> stabbing him, and then of course I get blown up because I don't use my cloak. But the pyro is also checking, so it would have been a bad move anyway. Um, and I think I'll leave it at that. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. And um, at the end of the round, I get 83 points, and the next people's like 53, so it was a good round. Uh, I think I got lucky at the beginning with the 15 stabs. People were spy checking. It's just um, a case of uh, seeing how it goes and what happens. Just trial, trial and error, really. 
Oh, and here comes the admin abuse from Cal. <laughs> Gotta love him. It's only gonna bring